guys, Fruit and More. Wait at me. Hi guys, Fruit and More. I'm doing a tune up on, well, what's my gravel truck? Now it's my used truck. So, first things first, they're doing plugs. They already got the first plug out. Just follow, take one wire off, follow it through. Which one's which? Make sure you don't get the old ones mixed up with the new ones. I got some new electric grease I got put on her. Actually, these already got them on it. side of this metal beam and I get the wire down there. Now take your plug, try to get her on there. Don't go ahead and put it in with the wrench because you will strip it out. Go cross thread. Hand tighten it first. You can't see anything. You gotta point it up in the Basically, first plug will be right here in between the headers. Basically, you want to hand tighten it first. Basically, just snug it. Snug it and then take your first finger, push on it until it hurts. And there you go. And that's the torque, what I do for the first plug. And I get a run out. Sometimes it's a little more difficult getting this put back on. Want you hear it snap? Pretty good. Okay. That one's done. Now you go to number cylinder number. I don't know off the top of my head. I guess we'll use it away. Pop this out. Pull this wire down. Two cylinder number two. You're out. We're up here. We gotta find the wire again. I'm stepping on one. That's old one. Actually, I wonder if that's that one. Sometimes spark plug wires do that, so we gotta replace them. That's the diode in. Alright, we got that down. Run this wire back and around. Set it aside. Go ahead and take this plug out. Turn the light on the phone right now. This is already on. Going. There's a foul plug right there. That faded color. And if you look, you can see the gap on it. It's worn down. These plugs are hot.
I was getting pretty grabbed a little plastic piece on it. And you won't have to worry about worry about gapping them before you put them in. And if you they're gapped wrong, they'll run wrong. Too. I can't really see anything. Basically. One thing you're working with is right down here. You're probably going to bring the camera over here to do it. But like that plug right there, we just put that one in. Now you got to run wire. And Until you hear it click with the suction on it. Alright. Now, usually what I do is I do all three on that side, but I'm gonna go ahead and work over. I'll go ahead and do it on the other side first because I gotta have long. You gotta do the right side. Okay. And here we'll start with front plug. See if I can get a grip on it. Hold three. There we go. Step thing through. Old plug. I wish I had gloves. Now, mm. auto lights are not the best plugs for these. For Rangers. <gasps> For Rangers Ford, for Rangers Ford asks for Motorcraft. That's what I would run. I highly suggest it. It keeps it running right, not too lean or too rich. Don't get the best gas mileage with Motorcraft, but you have the bigger power band that you need. Still there? <laughs> yeah, the tractor's still there. Oh yeah, guys, you gotta see the tractors here. You gotta see the tractor all the way back there. See, it's back on the trailer. It comes everywhere. <laughs> all right, now I gotta follow this wire through. Gotta rip this zip tie off. Break the zip tie. Only thing you do is push it. That's right off. Hey, bro. The wire you just pulled through. See, this wire would be the very back of the coil, and it's the very front one over here. So, remember that.
거예요. <웃음> 시 o 이브 안에 안에 에 r 사이드 오로 댑스틱 나 아까 그랬지 이거 다 했네 오케이 go to the end plug this one's a little tricky because of the stick right here you could undo the bolt actually that's my what I do undo the bolt get get to it What are you doing? You're just because you're fucking with something. Yeah, the diode keeps sticking the spark plug, he's pulling it out of the wire. See? Diodes keep breaking off. That's why I get cans plugs. Here, I got my extension. Sure about my gloves. I hit you. Why are you knocking at it? Hold on. No, I won't. It's locked up. Just the price, squash your heads. Also, too, it's easier to take plugs out of the motor. You won't. Less likely to break plugs pulling them out of the motor when the motor's hot. Oh boy, look at all that carbon deposit on that one. That cylinder need doesn't have that good of rings on it. That's what that means. I can't hold the camera anymore. You can. I can't my hand. I'll get you a pair of gloves. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get you a pair of gloves. Give me the keys. Alright, hold on guys. <laughs> Like a girl? I recorded you running time. back. Oh boy. <laughs> you wanna hold this? Kills. You yeah. wanna hold this? Oh, for you guys. This is the camera lady. No. This is, uh, who's uh, gonna be helping me with the videos nowadays. So you guys gotta tell her. You guys gotta go over to her Facebook and tell her to let me do more videos. Just give me the camera. Okay, here guys. Alright. Really? Okay. Like I said, hand tighten your plug in. Take your wrench, let it sit in there. Like I said, just your finger until you can put kind of hard on your finger. And I'm saying you get the right to work on it. Now I gotta run this wire back through. Make sure you keep these. Those are what hold your spark plug wires together. Mm. 
Okay, guys. Looks like I made a goof. You mess up? Uh, yeah. No. I just gotta go to the right water. Yeah. At least that was poop. Yeah, yeah, look. That's your poop. Okay, this wire has to be switched. It's not the right one. You're gonna confuse people. No, I'm not. Right, so I'm gonna show them real quick. <coughs> My shadow's in the way. Shorter wires go on the left side, longer wires go on the right. It's not how Ford did it normally. I thought this would be a better angle, but it's not. Now that one's on. And my last wire on this side. This back plug. Watch your cigarette. Alright, so I'm going to use the pliers. Alright. Probably use some pliers to pull this rope piece up. But, I'm going to use the pliers. You're using a fork? How do you say you're gonna grab players? This is why I don't like old park plug wires from Ford. That's why you gotta change them. I'm gonna come over and see what I'm trying to do real quick. So they you know if this happens. What are you trying to do? Okay, down here. See the spark plug? The rubber piece is still on it from the spark plug. I don't can see where Okay, well, I'm gonna get it out for
So what happened? The spark plug um, wire stayed in or stayed attached to the spark plug. I need to get pliers to get into it. Put a wrench on it. Let me fit. Okay. You're blocking. I don't have. No, you told him to get my gloves. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it. Just cut the fucking thing off. A little fucking rubber piece. I'm basically pushing my fingers back down through the grommet, trying to open it up, trying to get a grip on it. So I'm good. Man, I need those pliers. I thought you said you brought everything. You made sure. Everything but needle those pliers. <laughs> there we go. I got it. What the hell? It was just off. Where did it drop? Right there. I can't reach it. But good thing is got that out, so. We do back more down. Okay. Crumble's right, this plug was a little finicky one. 
this one to watch out for. And the other back plug. But, we got it out. See how all that crap's on there? The rubber conduit got so hot on it, it ended up like fusing to it. They're gluing itself to it. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. Yeah. Don't get that shirt dirty. Okay, now we have a long wire. See the way the Ford did it, they get all long wires, so I'm this isn't working out so well for me because it's trying to do all long wires on both sides. But realistically, all I need is this right here. This wire is the one that has the different color to it. Normally they're red. At least on mine they were red. On my 05 Ranger. And don't let your wires cross. Keep them as parallel to each other as you can. If you let them cross, it will still run crappy like they are bad spark plugs. <laughs> or like the wires or plugs are still bad. Or you got a bad coil. And you can take the coil. Is have your truck running. Is have your truck running. And slowly pop out one of these off. And then if you don't hear a spark on it, then you know that coil's bad. But on the plug, pull it off and... It's sparking, then you get. Wouldn't that be crossing over there? Yeah, watch, I'll show you. Remember that little clip thing I had right there? Are you gonna grab it? <laughs> this thing is what prevents them from crossing. Okay, that side's done. Now, last plug on this side, and then put an air filter in, and we are done. We just hit 30 minutes. Yeah. I told you it took you 30 minutes to change spark plugs. You said 45. No, I said 30 to 45. But I'm doing more. I'm doing wires, plugs, and everything. Others, too. I'm put that in the These are the Duralast ones. 
They have a lifetime warranty on them. Okay, now this last plug is gonna be a bitch to get to. So we're probably not gonna see anything? I'm probably gonna see anything the whole fucking time. <laughs> There were some good spots, good shots in there. Yeah. That's ready, tidy. And let's do this. There we go. Alright, now you can go ahead and pop the bridge back out. What is it with it and the 90s vehicles and then putting this shit on the fucking engine? I know, I was just about to say that. I was going to say, what the fuck is that? Pain in the ass is heat shit. It's like heat shield shit. Oh, crap. My stuck. Well, not that hard. Here we go. I got my swivel. Socket.